in the greatest name of almighty allah who is rahman and rahim welcome back to dr najam lectures in this video we will perform auscultation of lungs in infants first of all wash your hands properly after that explain the procedure to the parent and in the third we will ensure a calm environment because sometimes the baby is crying which may cause problems in hearing the lungs sounds the next portion includes the inspection in the inspection we will see the different kind of the characteristic features like for example we will see the nasal flaring we will see the intercostal and subcostal retractions we will see the cyanosis and grunting the next one is the how we will perform the auscultation for that we will use a stethoscope and we will ensure that the diaphragm of the stethoscope is a little bit warm for that purpose we will rub the diaphragm on the palm of our hand to make it warm and how we can auscultate so we can perform the procedure by applying the diaphragm to the direct skin not on the any kind of the clothing on the baby or the infant so in the next procedure we will have to place the diaphragm in the symmetrical manner not in the asymmetrical manner like for example if we are placing the diaphragm firstly in the right side intraclavicular region then we will place the diaphragm in the left side intraclavicular region this is the symmetrical pattern and the asymmetrical pattern is like this first is the intraclavicular next one is the mid of the chest and the next one is the lower this is the asymmetrical pattern now we will auscultate the lungs and we will see the different kinds of the sounds this is the symmetrical pattern first one is the right then is the left of the infraclavicular region then is the mid of the chest and at the mid of the chest of the right the base of the lung the base of the lung on the left side we can also see the and listen the sound from the axillary region because sometimes we can listen to the sounds from the later parts of the lungs after that we can listen to the lung sound on the posterior part of the chest but we will mostly listen on the posterior part of the chest on the base of the lungs because superior part of the lungs is mostly covered by the bones like the scapula so that's why we will mostly listen to the base of the skull but in the symmetrical manner like first we will listen to the lung sound on the left side of the infant and then to the right side of the infant in the infant the normal breathing is bronchovesicular breathing but we can also listen to other kinds of the pathological lung sound for example first one is the crackles this kind of the sound we will listen in pneumonia the next one is the wheezing this kind of the sound we will listen in the asthma the third one is the strider this kind of the sound can be listened in the upper respiratory tract obstruction and the fourth one is the grunting which can be listened in the severe respiratory distress and the fifth one is the absence of the sound like we are not listening any kind of the sound from the lungs due to the pneumothorax or due to the any kind of the consolidation so after the procedure thank to the mother wash your hands again and uh, documented your findings that what kind of the lung sound you auscultate from the infants so this is all about the auscultation of the lungs from the infant thank you for your attention like and subscribe to dr najam lectures